Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, Lex here. It is very, very late on a Friday night. Actually, it's practically Saturday morning now, but uh, I'm, I'm really tired. But before I head off the bed, I got to show you the awesome deal that I just got. Now, obviously there hasn't been a, an episode of Yard Sale Adventures in quite some time, but that doesn't mean that, um, you know, I can't find some deals in, in other fashions. And um, this one popped up on Facebook. And which is, what's funny is you can see I've got the Ghostbusters um, polo on. And uh, I was getting ready for work. And I thought I'd check Facebook right before I left work to see if there was anything, you know, uh, any notifications or messages or whatever. And uh, I, I, it popped up on my timeline and uh, I found uh, I saw four games that I've really been wanting and four games that are pretty valuable and four games that just honestly I didn't think I'd find at least not all together so um, I asked the guy how much he wanted and the funny thing is I had to leave for work right then and there without an answer so um, I worked work you know it was a, a small four three or four hour shift and uh, when I got off, I looked at my phone, and it turns out that the guy was talking with uh, another gentleman, a gentleman I actually know, and uh, he was just saying how, you know, this has been up for sale for a couple, a couple times. People said they want it, but they never come and pick it up, and he said he wanted $20 for these four games, and to me, that was... Uh, probably about twenty dollars less than my top for this. I, I thought, you know, it, forty dollars. If if anything, uh, anything under forty would be you know, a, a great deal. And really, even a little bit over forty would be a great deal too. But um, he came back with twenty, and I said, done deal. You know, I'm in a different town right now. You know, I don't work in the same place I live, so. You know, I'm, I'm on my way, and he was nice enough to meet with me tonight to get this done. So, let's take a look at what we got. First off, very cool, Mega Man 1. Um, it's not in the greatest shape, but it's not in the worst shape either. Uh, it's a little dirty. There's some tear, or not tear, but uh, the sticker's kind of coming up here in the corner. There are some very light scratches. I mean, it's kind of coming up on the sides, too. Again, not in the greatest shape, but uh, still very happy to add this to the collection. And there's a lot of label damage on the back there. But Mega Man 1, uh, not the easiest thing in the world to come across. Um, so I know that this did not sell very well, uh, yet they decided to keep going with the series anyway. So that's really cool. Um, but what's better than Mega Man 1? How about, add on top of that, Mega Man 2. Uh, Mega Man 2 is a game I've played and I enjoy quite a bit. Um, I've played 1 and 2. And, you know, some interesting cover art for sure. But, uh, you know, this is kind of where, here in America at least, where the series took off. And, uh... Yeah, this one is in really good shape. Um, it's really got no tears in the label. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to get really, really picky with it, you could say that, I mean, there's some light scratches in the label, but I, this is about as good as it gets. So, unless it's coming straight out of a sealed box. Um, but uh, why stop at Mega Man 1 and 2? Why don't we add Mega Man 3 to the, <laughs> to the list? Uh, Mega Man 3, never played it before. I've only played 1 and 2. Um, so I've got a lot of Mega Man ahead of me for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much else I can say other than I can't wait to see what this has in store for me. I know that a lot of people... Um, have gone through all of these and uh, certainly if you had a Nintendo system when you were a kid there's a good chance that you played most of these beat them 
Um, I didn't have uh, this experience when I was a kid, so now I'm going to have the experience. And again, this is in really good shape. Um, it's in almost as good shape as this. There's one scratch down the middle here where if you shine the right light, you can see that kind of like, you know, got a little indent into the label there. But I mean, honestly, this is in fantastic shape and I can't complain one bit. Uh, not only that, it came with the booklet, the instruction booklet. Uh, from Santa Clara, California, Capcom USA. Unfortunately, um, it is kind of beaten up, um, but still, it's not easy to find this as well. And it's got some really cool artwork in it, you know. So, I think uh, I think I'll kind of find a way to fix this up a little bit. Um, maybe even, you know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this really to, to fix it. I don't want to. I don't want to damage it more, uh, and I certainly don't want to take the value out of it by putting, you know, new staples in it or whatever. So I'll leave it how it is for now. Put it in a, a case and everything. So, and to round out the the four game deal for twenty bucks, um, a stellar copy of, you guessed it, Mega Man Four. So Mega Man 1, 2, 3, and 4 for $20. Um, I had to jump on the deal. Again, it was late, but I, I figured this is the type of deal that you can't pass up, even if it's that late at night, even if you're tired and just got off work. It, it doesn't matter. Deals like this don't come around too often, and I'm really happy to get Mega Man 4 uh, along with the rest of these to basically scoop up more than half the NES series in one deal for 20 bucks is just fantastic and you know the guy that sold me this was really nice um, he said that he had, he might have some more to sell so maybe I'll be doing another episode with more of his stuff but again it's in really good shape uh, really clean the only one that was in bad shape was the first one but even then you know I'm just glad to have it and if that wasn't cool enough came with Mega Man 4 instruction booklet pretty much same style as the Mega Man 3 one maybe a little less artwork in here uh, advertisement first for Tailspin in there uh, you got the Robot Masters so all in all man great 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 deal um, and this really came at a good time because, like I said, on the game front, it's been, it's at least the, the retro game front, it's been really dry. Um, I haven't been yard sailing in a couple weeks, um, but even when I went, there's nothing, just nothing, 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 and so... You know, good deals can be found on Facebook or Craigslist or wherever you go. You just have to keep your eye out, be the first one to respond. And, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask how much they're charging for it. I certainly thought this guy was going to come back with a ludicrous price, something like $120 or something like that. And uh, it turned out that, you know, he was willing to work with me and give me this great deal. So I'm very appreciative of that. And I can't wait to play all these. I'm going to start from one and work my way back up, even though I've played the first two already. So, and also these are going to look damn sexy on the old uh, shelves. So, all right, that that does it for me, though. The rest of my pickups have been brand new games, uh, and I showed you all those already. So, uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully another episode pops up very soon with some more vintage games for great prices. Uh, I'm Lex. Until next time, I'm going to go to bed. Bye, you guys.